Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Aspiring Augmented Reality Creators Are you ready to bring your ideas to life with Zapworks? Get ready for an immersive journey into the world of AR development. In this 2024 tutorial, we will walk you throughout the essentials of using Zapworks whether you are a creative beginner or looking to unleash your AR potential, this video is for you. So let's start. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So first of all guys, what you will need to do is to head up to your browser and search for Zapworks. The basically, or you can simply just write the, the web URL which is zap.works. Uh, dot nothing so it is this is the uh, basically the actual URL so you can go for it and find it right there now what does it help you with um, this as you can see here there's a brief of it so what you could do is to simply make your creatives into AR so you can or VRs or whatever you can call them so here are brief about it and how you can find it how you can manage it uh, like there is this design that you can create it there is a lot of things which you can simply design them and add them to your AR so now to get started with it and to get your journey started with a VR and WebXR and AR so we simply have to click on start free trial after you did that you have to sign up normally with Google Chrome or what oh, I mean Gmail or whatever thing you would like to do to go with for me I'm going with my Google account and there I am so now we have to finish a couple of things like these information so let's choose this for hobby I am using that work for not commercial use uh, which software have you used before I've used for example unity Photoshop Illustrator and After Effects after that I'm going to click on start your free trial and there we go so now let's go start by creating in a project so here we have to choose which kind of project are we going for am i going to go with a designer which is create word and image track 3d project with our drag and drop editor you can also do matter craft beta our latest and most advanced tool for building rich 3d experiences for the web and universal ai which power up your favorite frameworks and engines with our ar sdks for us we are going with the designer uh, there we go we have here the uh, dashboard and here we have the project so here we have to name the project for example here let's name it tutorial project there we go and here we have to drag uh, your cover image here to to like uh, or like collect to upload so for example here I'm going to upload this image there we go I have uploaded it successfully and here I'm going to open to the designer so loading zap works designer and as you can see here I'm going to what do we need to do exactly I want to choose the name to tracking let's choose word tracking for example and there we go so here we have the word tracking and basically we have to start adding stuff so let's start by adding a couple of images for example my image I have chosen I'm going to grab and drag it right there of course you can manage to add other things they don't really have to be such stuff so yeah, let me just make it go back to the middle of the screen let's play on the axis like that let's make it here all right that is perfect so here you can actually make the size bigger so let's make it for example here 90 something like that um, let's drag it up a little bit and let's make it right in the middle just like that we can make for example other uh, we can add here video we can add text that's going to be following us so we have to simply drag and drop we have to make it here make it of course once more bigger so 120 um it shouldn't be there it should be in the front and i'm gonna put it in the front of this image so somewhere like here um, here we should of course uh, edit it so double click on it let's do that real quick all right and then I'm going to change it for example welcome here we go now we have changed the text so here we have text options I'm going to change the 
uh, the text font to white I'm going to drag it right here so once you are moving the text is not really moving with the picture it's only available for you from the front here we can actually add some kind of font to the text so something like so um, we can add a background sound in case we would like to so this is like a background sound which is a beep um, here there's analytics we don't really need that shadow events we can allow shadow we can remove them but yeah this is basically it we can even find some 3d objects right here we can add for example um, let me just search for it right here like a guitar which is going to be added in here and it is 3d by the way guys as you can see it is 100% 3d so this is the actual thing let me just make the size bigger for example 90 um, this is a good thing to actually try uh, like fake it to your friends you can actually use this to fake to your friend that you have a guitar you can literally use this as um, a potential uh, thing to like you can you take a picture with your phone using this filter or AR or VR or whatever you can you are using it as and basically you will they, you, they will see the guitar inside of your room you can of course replace the guitar with any object that you think of <laughs> you might have even like a car you just have to simply find a good 3d element that you can simply have it right here with a car let me just search for it if it is available so let's search for a car all right they are not available so we can actually upload so 3d uh 3d pictures and let's try to find some 3d elements uh, let's try to find some um, I don't think we can find anything that will give us 3d elements 3d car free let's go here free 3d oh sketch yeah this one this one I think yeah this one so let's search for a car which is gonna be free to download okay this one is free to be downloaded we simply have to log into our Google account so let's do that real quick there we go I'm going to log in and basically here we are going to get this car design and we can literally add it to our design on Zapwork so accept here and I'm gonna go right here accept all once more get this ready for use so there we go I'm going to download this file if I'm not mistaken and then I'm going to go back right here and I'm going to upload it so we simply have to wait let me just find it here so there we go it's gonna take some time since it has uh, 2k megabytes and simply after the megabytes has been uploaded and the file is uploaded you will be able to actually drag it and drop it right in here after you do so as you can see here the it is saved in my library so there it is here it is the car so now we can actually have a car inside of our room successfully guys as you can see this is the 3d element layer i have added it successfully to our sketch now we can simply just publish it and use it in our vr and they will be able to see a car inside of our room so this is how you can use sip works in general for your own stuff so thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial